back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm George and in today's video we'll explore everything you need to know about these new features and how you can make the most of them to enhance your document creation experience. Let's first start by breaking down what managing document elements by layers really means. Organizing elements by layers is a common practice in graphic editing software. This is because utilizing layers allows us to organize individual elements enabling us to adjust their arrangement and achieve diverse outcomes. To understand how layer management works, let's use collages as an example. If we look closely at them, we'll see they're made up of many images stacked together in a specific order to create one complete image. In PDF Element for Mac OS version 10.3 and onwards, the editing tools will offer the option to select how we arrange elements allowing us to stack them as desired. Let me demonstrate this with a quick example. In this folder, I've gathered several images with the intention of arranging them in a specific way to craft a professional looking document. To begin, I'll create a blank document. Then, I'll set up the workspace where I'll begin stacking elements. To achieve this, I'll use one of my images as the background of the document. Once the background is in place, I'll proceed to insert all of the images from my folder into the document. Now, I'll move, resize and crop them to work more comfortably. After placing the elements and adjusting their scales, it's evident that some of them are stacked in the wrong order. This is where the new feature of PDF Element comes into play. When you select an image, you'll notice the new Arrange tools in the contextual menu or in the panel on the right. These tools allow you to specify the arrangement of elements, whether they are images or text. The layer editing capabilities offer a simplified approach to creating sophisticated designs within our PDF element workspace. But that's not all. Anyone who has dabbled in drawing understands the annoyance that comes with spotting an error as fixing it inevitably involves tweaking the surrounding elements too. Imagine the chaos of working on a design brimming with graphic elements, background images, statistical graphs, and floating text boxes. Then, just as you're almost finished, you noticed a misaligned element. In that moment, with your elements merged or rasterized, your only recourse is to cross your fingers and hope that by pressing Command Z, will backtrack enough to rectify the mistake. Well, managing and editing your documents by layers is the solution to this problem. Organizing the elements of our documents into layers provides a more efficient and structured approach to managing elements. This simplifies editing and visualization, enabling us to modify specific elements without impacting others. The new layers managing features are powerful tools for creating documents with multiple elements or intricate designs, enabling us to address issues individually. This results in significant time savings in document editing and error correction. Don't you find that fascinating? Let's use this document as an example. It's filled with numerous graphic elements and text boxes, which could make even minor edits a daunting task. Wouldn't you agree? Thankfully, with layer management features, this will no longer be an issue. Layers can be accessed through the panel on the left, where all the document's layers will be listed. Each layer will contain specific elements that we have assigned to it. By checking or unchecking its respective box, we can easily hide or show the elements within, enabling us to make changes securely without the risk of accidentally modifying other elements. Additionally, when we might click on any of our layers, we'll find two essential options, rename and delete. The rename option lets us give each layer a custom name allowing us to add descriptive labels that ensure clear and organized document management. On the other hand, the delete option allows us to remove layers that are no longer necessary or have been created by mistake, which helps keep the document clean and error free. Well, that was all about the new layer management features. In essence, PDF Elements layer management streamlines the entire process of creating and exporting your PDF documents. This translates to fewer steps and time investment required to attain professional quality outcomes. With the ability to hide layers, you can confidently make adjustments and experiment with various arrangements in a safe and efficient way. So, what do you think? Do you want to try it out? Well, if so, there's good news for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this feature is included in the latest version of PDF Element. So if you already have the app installed, you just need to update it. 
And if you don't have PDF Element installed yet, well, what are you waiting for? You can download PDF Element for free from both the App Store and the official PDF Element website and start experiencing and creating amazing designs today. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will continue bringing you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel and there you will find more videos just like this. Have a great day and see you next time.